If you're looking for some low-profile wireless earphones, you might be considering the Beats X or the Jaybird X3. They're both compact wireless earphones that are super lightweight and easy to store away when not in use. But fundamentally, there are very different products that aim to serve two different types of consumers. So which did you get? I'll tell you. First up, there's a $20 difference between the Jaybird X3 and the Beats X. The Jaybird X3 are available in two colorways and currently retail for $129.99 at most retailers. While the Beats X are available in four different colors and retail for $149.95. If you want to go with the more affordable option, then you should go with the Jaybird X3. When it comes to form factor, the Beats X and Jaybird X3 are very different. The Beats X are long and wrap around your neck. The main mostly out of plastic and when not in use can simply rest on your neck without any problems. The Jaybird X3 on the other hand are a little shorter and feature slightly more premium materials. They're super lightweight, but if you were to simply rest them on your neck when not in use, they might fall off because of their inline controller. Although both earphones are in-ear earphones, they fit very differently too. The Beats X give you a total of 4 silicone ear tips and 2 silicone wing tips to choose from. They do a great job of getting to your ear canal and staying there under most circumstances. They also form a really good seal that helps with passive noise isolation. But the Jaybird X3 give you more customization options when it comes to fit. They give you 3 pairs of silicone ear tips, 3 pairs of comply ear tips, and 3 pairs of ear fins. You can literally spend hours customizing how these earphones fit until they're perfect just for you. The comply ear tips are especially cool because they create a very secure fit and provide far better passive noise isolation than the Beats X could ever give you. But no matter how much noise isolation your earphones offer you, it doesn't matter if they sound bad. The Beats X have a neutral sound signature, they are in two bass heavy and the highs are fairly clear. They don't sound bad and overall offer a pleasant listening experience. The Jaybirds on the other hand sound much better and that's no surprise, the Jaybirds have always been known for their superior sound quality. Just like their fit, the Jaybird allow you to customize the sound signature as well. All you have to do is jump into Jaybird's My Sound app and either select from their pre-made sound profiles or you can make your own. If you're interested in sound quality, then the Jaybird X3 are the way to go. What makes the Beats X very different from the Jaybird X3 aside from their form factor is Apple's new W1 chip. If you're heavily invested into Apple's ecosystem, you should consider the Beats X. The W1 chip allows for a simple pairing and seamless transition between multiple Apple devices associated with your iCloud account. And yes, you can still connect the Beats X to non-Apple devices via Bluetooth by pressing and holding the power button to put them in pairing mode. The Jaybird X3 on the other hand use Bluetooth 4.1 and allow you to pair up to two devices at the same time. However, the Beats X do have a longer range than the Jaybird X3. I also noticed there's some latency with the Jaybird X3 which results in audio not being synced up with YouTube videos. It's a slight latency but noticeable when people are talking in videos. Both earphones also have inline controllers as they should but they are very different. The controller on the Beats X is much better to use and are much more tactile. The controller on the Jaybird is a little different and not so great to use. They aren't as tactile either, but they also both have built-in microphones that get the job done. However, the sound quality on the mic is a little better on the Beats X because of their position. Battery life on both earphones is also similar. They both have an 8 hour battery life, but the way you charge them is completely different. The Beats X charge via a lightning cable which makes life a little easier. The Jaybird X3 charge via a proprietary cable which means another cable to keep track of. If you lose or forget the proprietary cable, then you won't be able to charge your earphones unless you buy another one. The Beats X also feature fast fuel which will get you 2 hours of playback time from just 5 minutes of charging. Which is a great feature to have. The Jaybird however don't have such a feature. Overall the Beats X are more of a lifestyle product that can be worn almost anywhere. Sure you can use them while working out but keep in mind they aren't sweat proof. If you want something that you can wear for long periods of time without any discomfort, have fast charging capabilities, and are all about convenience, then get the Beats X. The Jaybird X3 is a great option if you want something lightweight and compact for when you work out. Since they are sweat resistant, you don't have to worry about them getting a little wet. Personally, I prefer the Beats X because of their W1 chip and fast charging feature. But if neither one of these are doing it for you, then remember you can always pick up the Black Power Beats 3 from Amazon for $149.99. Link for that is in the description below. Hey, if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, please high five the like button, it helps the channel grow. If you like videos like this, subscribe. There are more product reviews and fitness advice videos coming. For more, check out jimcaddy.net and I'll catch you next time.